before you go ahead and access the OpenAI models from within your Python program using the APIs. In this lecture, I will show you a very useful tool which is the OpenAI Playground. Log into platform.openai.com from your web browser. Once you are in there using your OpenAI account, on the left side, click on Playground. And from the drop down here, pick Chat. That will take you to the Chat Playground, which is just like Chat GPT. On the right side, you can pick any model you want. GPT-35 Turbo is what I want to use. And you can start sending your prompts under the user message here. You can ask it, what is the capital of USA? Very simple prompt and submit. That prompt will be sent to this model and you will see the response coming back. There are three different types of messages you can use here. The system message, the user message and the assistant message. These are also called roles as you will see in the Python programs later on. The system message tells the model how it should behave. The user message is the prompt and the assistant message is often used in the response. So the model will use the assistant message to send the response back. You can also use the assistant message to send more examples to the model. To drive the model's behavior, we can provide examples as well. Let me show you how to do that. Refresh this page so that we can start the chat from scratch. Go to the resources of this lecture and you can download this playground underscore messages dot txt. Once downloaded, open it in a text editor. You have a system message, a user message and an assistant message. Copy the system message, paste it under the system message. I have borrowed this from Microsoft OpenAI. The system message says, you are an Xbox customer support agent whose primary goal is to help users with issues they are experiencing with their Xbox devices. You are friendly and concise. You only provide factual answers to queries and do not provide answers that are not related to Xbox. So we are telling the model that even though it has all the information on the planet about other gaming devices, etc., it should behave only like a Xbox customer support agent and it shouldn't answer any other questions. And we further can provide an example here is the user message how much is a ps5 i'm not going to submit this this is an example i am providing click on add message automatically the assistant role will come in copy this assistant message paste it right here so we are providing a context or an example to the gpt model on how it should respond back if a user asks how much a ps5 is so looking at this example it will learn or it will try to work or drive its behavior based on whatever we provide here. Now add a message, user message, send, get me the key features of Xbox. I'm asking a Xbox related query and it generates some cool information using the assistant role, which is expected. But now let's send another message, add message, and I'm sending how much is a PS5. Submit and let's see. See that? I apologize, but I don't have access to real-time pricing information. The pricing of PlayStation may vary depending on the model standards, etc. So it's trying to avoid the questions on PS5, which is the expected behavior. So if you scroll up to the history of messages, so we are driving the behavior of it by telling it how it should behave based on the system message, the user message and the assistant messages we send in. The model will not remember any of this. It is the responsibility of this UI here to send this entire context, the system message, the user message, the previous responses, etc., will be sent from this UI to the model every time. And using all this information, the model will generate the response. So you can use the system message to drive the model's behavior. You can use the user and assistant messages to provide it examples or the context it requires depending on the use case you are working on. You can save this entire chart by clicking on this save here as a preset and use it later on. If you click on this, you can give it a name and save it and you can come back later on and you can just load it and uh, continue your chart from there. If you click on view code, which is a very powerful feature, it will give you the code in Python, Node.js, curl command, JSON, etc. Using which you can make API calls. All that chart you have done in the background, all that is available in the program here. 
and you can just copy this code go to your python application and start working with it you will be doing that in the next few lectures you can also share it as a link with your friends they can log in to their open ai accounts and continue their chat from wherever you have left and there are also several presets that are ready to use see this drop down here click on that say browse examples there are tons of examples that you can use here across various categories if you say generation there is transformation code related examples natural language structured data etc say generate these are all the examples that are available select the product name generator example it will show you how it will look like this is the system message this is the user message that will go in and this is how the output will be it is showing you how this uh, particular example will work click on open in playground that will open up the playground in a new tab select chart from the drop down and you see that from the preset you have selected which is product name generator it has loaded up the system message which is you will be provided with a product description and seed words and your task is to generate product names and here is the user message we are giving it the product description a home milkshake maker seed words seed words are fast healthy compact using this it has to generate product names for us because we are driving its behavior based on the system message here if you submit it it will give us some super cool product names with the description and seed words we have provided here so you can use the presets that are already available to load up the system message the user message and the assistant message and play around with it i'll talk about this configuration which you see on the right side in the next lecture